Yo, what's good, YouTube? Zamcrow here, aka Scoop. Um, kind of back with a draft league season one recap, season two draft analysis. If that makes sense. All right? Yeah. First of all, I just wanted to recap on season one here. As you can see, Universal Analyst League, we ranked third in our conference by the end of the season. Had a few few losses that kind of just tweaked us out anyways I think we finished this season six and four second in our division behind the Shamrock Snovers who team to team uh, we just could not beat them had a bad matchup couldn't make it out of our division to play for the conference title thus could not make it to the championship um, we did however lead Mega Metacham to a third place well, first place, uh, second place, excuse me. I don't know why I'm dark right here. Uh, second place position here uh, behind Mega Low Funny, probably as expected. And we led our team pretty good, I think, in my opinion. Used Jirachi well, used uh, Miss Magius, fun, very fun to use that. Uh, Crook, Thunders, Incarnate, Excelgor, love Excelgor. And yeah, we finished six and four, and we were invited back for season two. So yeah, enough with season one, since uh, obviously we did not fare too well. Uh, we decided to come back for season two. It is a showdown based league, so getting a team and having it in game is not an issue. So, so yeah, we moved on here and we did finish we lost let's see here we lost to the champion in the division finals or something like that so we didn't have too good of a draft pick but we did get exactly who we wanted to start the draft off with and that was Garchomp I love Garchomp used in the PBF uh, season 1 and season 3 Obviously has two great abilities, both being legal and can run a variety of items. I mean, one, two, three, four. Those are the first four shows you can run. These are very viable. They're all viable, really. And Rocky Helmet, you know, for those physically attacking and touching, not just attacking, but touching Pokemon. Anyways, great move pool, very wide coverage, has the ability to Swords Dance and Toxic and Stealth Rock and Dragon Tail and face things around, has natural gift, all kinds of good stuff. Um, I don't think it gets Surf. Oh, it does get Surf, shit. Well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> Check out these stats. Garchomp is an absolute beast in the format. Uh, you got the sub swords dance. You just got the scarf, the band, the life orb, the rocky helmet. Like I was ex uh, explaining earlier, I think about running choice specs. Uh, Draco meteor. I uh, I don't know. Probably just stick to the physical attack and maybe throw some fire blast and flamethrower on there, depending on the situation. Uh, fairies. Not a problem with the steel and poison type uh, coverage. And the major problem with Garchomp is Dragon Ground has a four times weakness to ice. So a lot of people run HP ice just for that. But I'm not going to let that stop me from using one of my favorite Pokemon. Anyways, one major threat to Garchomp is Mammal Swine. I drafted that bad boy. I had the... The 15th pick out of 16 people, and I had to pick Garchomp. Next person picked Jirachi and and someone else. But anyways, it came right back to me, and I got Mammal Swine. My boy Mammal Swine. I use him in various multiple leagues, I should say, not various. But, I mean, its stats speak for itself. Uh, love the Life Orb. It just hits so hard with... Like moves like this. Those just dual stab. Nothing nothing resists both stabs. Uh, 
excuse me, road and wash is a problem, but I can work around that. Again, another Pokemon gets great coverage, gets both screens. People won't see that coming. I think for like Rotom, they got Toxic. I'll hit it with a Toxic on the switch in. Or not even worry about that. I can use Freeze Dry and stuff like that. We can Rotom down. Um, God, I have some other Pokemon that can take care of Rotom pretty well. Maybe not pretty well, but I can handle Rotom. Anyways, Mammal Swine Zero here. Just. Got some ground spam going on here. Ice is a phenomenal type in the uh, league format. And uh, as long as I got Mammal Swine, Garchomp doesn't have to worry about facing Mammal Swine. That's how I see it. So I got my two boys here, Hammerhead and Zero. My next pick was none other than Ditto. My boy Savage. Now, I can't talk too much about Ditto because there's one thing it does and that's it copies you. <laughs> it copies you. I'm going to use this Pokemon uh, to the best of my ability. Probably Choice Scarf a lot. Sometimes I'm going to hit people with the non expected leftovers and the non expected life orb. Whatever it takes, I'm going to use it. Uh, its stats are poor, but it don't have to have good stats because it copies target stats, moves, types, and abilities. It pretty much becomes you, imposter, as its ability says. So. Yeah, not much to say about Ditto. Everybody knows what Ditto does. It's hard to prep for. And then to make people not bring uh, setup against me. Like Manaphy and uh, Dragon Dancers and stuff like that. That ain't gonna come. My fourth pick was Man the Buzz, as seen on screen. Uh, Pokemon's a great wall, great HP, great defense, very good special defense, and decent speed. Attack and special attacks, not that well, but I'm probably not going to be using this as an offensive Pokemon too much. Probably have leftovers a lot. I might run Choice Scarf. Who ran that? Mono Tui. Ran that in the GBA Season 6. Yeah, that's pretty wild. <laughs> Anyways, it gets a uh, Foul Play, Knock Off. Uh, oh, oh, oh. It's Nasty Plot, Dark Pulse. So you see things like that, maybe. If, uh, if the matchup calls for it, has Roost, Toxic, Defog. So I have Stealth Rocks, Stealth Rocks, uh, Stealth Rock Spikes, Toxic Spikes, Seeky Web, depending on what my opponent has. And then I got a Defogger here. Uh, something my team lacked so far. A way to get rid of hazards. Plenty of ways to set them, but no way to get rid of them. And now I do. I got the Tailwind, the Taunt, Toxic Taunt, uh, Roost on fat walls like Cresselia and other annoying Pokemon. Might steal somebody's item with Thief. Might see me gust somebody out of here. Bone Rush. Bone Rush. Uh, Mana Buzz against uh, um, something four times a week to grass. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Just talking out of my ass right now. Uh, my next Pokemon. I was uh, I was planning to make a Volt Turn team with Mega Scizor during my draft, but I got to the point where I realized I couldn't afford Scizor and the other Pokemon I was going for, so I grabbed my boy Heliolisk here, who has pretty good, like, special uh, stats and speed, really good speed, I mean, it maxes out it. That's a uh, Darmanitan and Arcanine, that's their max speed with a plus speed nature. This is like right under the Lottie Twins. So really good. Uh, again, another Pokemon that can run Specs, Scarf, Life Orb, Focus Sash, uh, maybe like a Shookaberry or a Choppleberry or something. Uh, I'm not real sure yet. I'm not real sure what to nickname it yet either. Um, shit, I don't know. Anyways, it's got the ability, I mean, it's got really good, uh, first of all, yeah, it does got really good abilities, and really, really good coverage, uh, for like all spectrums of the Pokemon world, it just hits pretty hard in my opinion, I mean, with its coverage, it hits pretty hard, I mean, 109 special attacks, not crazy, but it's not bad at all, 
It's not bad at all. And this is one electric type that ground types don't necessarily want to switch into because I could hit somebody with a hyper beam or a hyper voice and do some major damage maybe. So we'll see how that goes. Next up, returning from season one, thanks to the only Pokemon I got from season one, my boy COPD. A lot of people question this Pokemon, but in conjunction with this other fucking beast of a wall, I think it, I think it works pretty good. I used this in my very first league format. League, when I had uh, Weezing, Mandibuzz, and Mega Metagross. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fun. That was the first league I ever won. It was the first league I ever played in, and I did win. It was only an eight man people. I mean, eight man league, though, so. And only like maybe four of us were uh, decent to good battlers. Of course, Weezing uh, covering the Black Sludge. Might run Choice Scarf, wheezing if uh, if the destiny calls for it. You know what I'm saying. Shout out to my boy Aki VGC, Aki VGC, Aki VGC. However you say his name. Shout out to my boy for the Choice Bond Destiny. I mean Choice Scarf Destiny Bond. I about said Choice Bond Destiny Scarf. Uh, idea for the season two of the PBF when I had a playoff match and didn't have an answer for Mega Metacham and used Choice Scarf Destiny Bond to take it out. Pretty fun. Of course, wheezing with the Will O Wisp, the Toxic Spikes, the uh, sets up uh, Rain and Sun, which I don't really see myself using or doing that. It's got the Fire Blast for, you know, can't touch Steel Tops with my poison. It's got the Haze and the uh, the taunt, yeah, 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 I like the taunt a lot for like slower, slower, slower things like uh, something maybe, maybe like a reuniclist that wants to set up on me or something. I just click taunt and then switch into my mana buzz or something like that. Not sure, but like I said, not many things you want to set up on a team that's got a ditto. So I don't see that much in uh, my opponent's preps, just wanting to set up on a team that has a ditto. So I bring these wall breakers and a volt switcher two of my own walls and like a, a revenge killer kind of type of Pokemon here. Especially against Pokemon that are uh, damaging themselves really bad. Anyways, that was my first six picks. And uh, my next pick was my boy Greninja. Of course, we cannot use, uh, Battle Bond wasn't even released yet. Uh, proteins obviously banned so I have to stick with torrent but my boy Greninja Tsunami male be my other shiny along with Weezing normal 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 shiny shiny really like shiny Greninja of course regular Greninja looks pretty cool too but black's fucking badass probably life orb uh Double stab. Uh, probably won't run scald that much unless I see like a like a necessity, like a maybe a last ditch effort to burn something that's really fucking strong or something. Anyway, it's this Pokemon: dual stab, good speed, good special attack, decent attack, and you know, pretty weak defenses. But I ain't really got to worry about that. I can. Uh, U-turn out here, so I do have a U-turner. I have two U-turners now, and a Volt Switcher, and of course Ditto can Volt Switch and U-turn depending on my team's uh, team matchup. If he brings like a U-turner or something. Anyways, uh, Psychic type moves, Grass type moves, Poison type moves, Ice type moves, uh, Hydro Pump for when I just want to nuke things, when uh, maybe Greninja might be my other wall breaker. Things like that. It's got a uh, shadow sneak and water, uh, water shuriken. Where is that at? I mean, that's his. Yeah, that's his. Uh, it's his signature move. So I don't even. Yeah. Oh uh, no, I can't see that. It's down here. A little bit further down on the screen. Yeah. So we've got dual, uh, dual priority if I need it. Unfortunately, like I said, can't run protein, which is probably OP in the format. 
maybe come back in a sun and moon league or something i'm not sure but yeah greninja op watching my boy uh blue victini using it in the international trainers league right now and fucking just obliterating and of course he named it scoot after me my boy greninja my next pick uh anybody that knows me anybody knows the zamcro knows i love this pokemon Mega Alakazam, Mr. Mayhem, my boy, speed, special attack, that says it all, uh, in league form that's a thing, uh, where I can run modest a lot, cause, like, there's not many Pokemon over the 395 mark, and I mean, I run timid for some, like, uh, things, if I see like a Selgore, uh, Mega Lopunny, um, which I don't really see them running a Jolly or a Speed Boost in nature, besides the Selgore, of course it will. But like Low Pony won't, because I mean, I can outspeed it, so it would I would go Adamant if I was the Low Pony. So I can't outspeed the Mega Alakazam, I should go Adamant. That's that would be my thought process, anyways. Like I was saying, I can run that right there. That right there outspeeds the likes of up to like Zebstrika. This no, no investment with a timid nature outspeeds Gengar. This outspeeds Greninja, who I was just saying is really fast. Uh, Septile, uh, the Lotties, the Lottie twins. Yeah, so just really really fast. Hits really really hard. Has the protect, uh, the disable, the taunt, the encore. Can be a very annoying Pokemon or can set up uh, and possibly sweep you. I mean, it all depends on how the game's going, what the match looks like, things like that. Mega Alakazam is one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Like, Alakazam's my favorite. And he got a Mega Evolution that buffed his special attack speed special uh defense uh i think it buffed his defense maybe a little bit i'm not really sure actually i don't think it did i think i wanted it to because it had it gave uh 90 90 points all the megas got 100 points boosted and he only got 90 and i was like well why don't you throw that 10 in right here or drop 10 from here and throw in 20 here i don't know Fast special sweeper. You see it right there. Mega Alakazam, my boy. Uh, can weaken teams with my core, uh, my toxic spikes, spikes, uh, rocks, uh, my wall breakers, weaken things down. Mega Alakazam comes in, clicks uh, Mega Evolve and clicks Psychic, just knocks things out. Uh, has coverage like Focus Blast, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball. And psychic hidden power of my choice whatever I need energy ball grass knot uh, has the the protect and the I mean not the protect the reflect and the light screen somewhere yep even magic coat and throw a knockoff on a chancy or something that'd be nice and cool can't trick my item obviously so that's not gonna be a thing uh, can throw throwing a barrier and I, oh I got a what's that one uh Miracle Eye, where's it at? It makes, uh, here we go, I can hit dark types. How cool is that? I mean, it's not cool, but I mean, it's kind of cool. Trick Room, Wonder Room, things like that. Mega Alakazam's a beast in the format. I don't care what anybody says about it being frail, about it being this, that, and the other, you don't hit hard enough. Bull fucking shit. Bull fucking shit. That's what I say about it. <laughs> Bull fucking shit. I love this Pokemon. Anyways, on to my next pick. Uh, like I said, Ice Taps are uh, a great offensive typing here. Luigi. Great offensive typing. Great stats all across the board. Uh, good speed. Good special defense, good defense, great special attack, great attack, and great HP. This Pokemon is gonna be fucking 
insane to use. Never used it before in the format. I haven't used it much outside of using it on the UU ladder, uh, Oris UU ladder, which is really fun to use because you're throwing a specs and you drop Dracos, drop ice beams, and it hurts things. It hurts things a lot. Uh, probably you're running a lot of leftovers, a lot of life orb, uh, maybe some assault vest. We'll see. Choice scarf specs, maybe even band. Throwing a lumberry sometimes. Anyways, another Pokemon with just uh, like a Draco Meteor, Dragon Pulse, Earth Power for like Steel types that resist. Uh, and then the Ice Beam and the Flash Cannon. A really, really hard hitter right there. Really, really hard hitter throw on just even a life orb and then I got one, two, three, three Pokemon just right here, uh, not counting, like, just hit hard, like, if you can't tell yet, I brought a very offensive approach to the season with my only two real walls being Mandibuzz and Weezing, and of course Weezing is mostly defensive and can't really go uh, special defensive, but yeah, Kieran, Cure him the regular one, not the white one, not the black one. My boy Wooji, not Wooji Yang, just Wooji, is uh, going to try to help the Rock Cougars to a uh, season two championship. That's what I'm aiming for here. Fell short in last season because of uh, just, I don't want to say bad prep or bad play. It's just, just a rough matchup. Anyways, my next pick, Ex uh, Excavalier. Of course, my boy Excalibug. Not so much like uh, a Selgor. It's a little bit slow, but a little bit more bulky, a little bit more powerful in the attack. Uh, obviously, not the special attack, but the attack. Throw on uh, maybe an assault vest, and it becomes a pretty cool. Uh, oops. Pursuit Trapper. It's got really strong. Uh, well. I don't want to say really strong. Iron Head's semi strong, but Mega Horn's really strong. It means protect. Of course, you can't run protect with the salt vest. I got the Swords Dance, the X Scissor if I don't want to miss the Mega Horn. It's going to be like a mostly a Pursuit Trapper for psychic types and fairies and things like that. Of course, I won't Pursuit Trap a fairy unless maybe Mega Gardevoir that I know is going to switch out. But. Mostly going to be running that Iron Head. Of course, it speeds uh, shit slow. Maybe run a Trick Room team sometime and uh, get a sweep with like a Life Orb or a, or a fucking... Oh, shit, that would be cool. I forgot I had like a Choice Banded Iron Head sweep because of Mega Alakazam setting up a Trick Room and it's a uh, final turn. And then Excalibug comes in and just... <laughs> through the competition. That'd be cool. And yeah, so this is my team. Uh, I had one last pick here, and it's gonna be none other than my boy Scrafty. Used it in multiple leagues as well. It's got three great abilities. Obviously gonna be a boy. Obviously gonna be named Scrappy, because it likes to scrap. With an assault vest and the intimidate, it becomes another just like hard to kill Pokemon, unless you got like a fairy type move or a really strong flying type or fighting type it's gonna be hard to kill and it's just kind of annoying can bulk up can dragon dance can set up in multiple ways can phase you can fake out uh besides fake out it doesn't have any other uh, priority though which is kind of a bummer but it has the taunt the toxic uh it can't really doesn't have like reliable recovery kind of like wheezing and is four times weak to another type. So I have one, two, and then three Pokemon with four times weakness. But yeah, that's my theme there. And uh, of course, like I said, it's not the most balanced. I don't have a fire type. I don't have a grass type. I don't have a, like a, a bulky water. I just have a fast, decently hard hitting water type in Greninja. Uh, I have no fairy. Did I say that already? And my steel top's kind of uh, lackluster because it's, uh, I don't want to say lackluster because it's four times a week to fire, because Scizor is, and it's a fucking beast. But in the format, it's easy to prep for. Easy to prep for. Well, I wouldn't say it's easy to prep for. When you got 
Maybe you want to run Hidden Power Ice so you can't run Hidden Power Fire. Maybe you want to run Hidden Power Fire but you ain't got Hidden Power Ice. Or maybe you want to, I don't know, Hidden Power Fairy doesn't exist so I'll know if something's carrying a fairy type move from a Scrafty. Uh, like I said, Psychic doesn't really scare me that much because I have the Scavalier, the Mana Buzz, and my own Alakazam, and of course Scrafty. Fairies with Weezing, uh, Scavalier, and like Mana Buzz, I mean not Mana Buzz, Mammoth Swine, and Kirim being able to hit it with the Ice Type and the Hard Earthquakes. I'm not really afraid of Fairy Types that much. I'm not really afraid of uh, any types, to be honest. And I'm not really afraid of any teams that were drafted. Uh, I know uh, Dark Rye was allowed this season. Of course, it was picked number one overall. Um, Greninja was taken. I mean, not Greninja, but Infernape was taken. That's another Pokemon I like in the league format. Um, what other things were allowed? Oh, Mega, Mega Latias, the red one, the AS. It was allowed, Lando I allowed again, even though it showed that it was completely broken last season. Um, yeah, we allowed a few new things this season. We put them in a new tier with things like Manaphy, Victini, Megalopony, things that are just kind of really good in the format. And yeah, so we look forward to a, a fun season here. The Black Mont Rock Cougars looking to maybe be crowned season two champion with a, uh, with a, team that nobody else seems to like I like it a lot uh, we did have some analysts come in for us they uh, as a whole I know, I know one ranked me like 12 out of 16 but as a whole I was ranked number 16 out of 16 when it comes to just draft in general but that's okay it's not about the draft it's about how you use it so we'll see how it goes uh, Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time for week one. Thanks for watching.